everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video was supposed to be a card making 101 video, um, but you would have seen in yesterday's video that I had this little haul from um, the paper boutique and I really just really, really, really wanted to use it. So I'm gonna try and combine card making 101 with just creating cards with this. And I'm gonna show you how to create just super simple cards using a paper kit. Uh, so if you don't have all bells and whistles and stamps and dies and inks and all things like that, and maybe you're just interested in having card kits like this, just easy kits where you have everything you need and you can still create really beautiful cards. Um, that's what we're gonna kind of focus on in today's video. So there's gonna be a couple of videos where we're gonna kind of use these up um, because I'm otherwise it's just gonna end up being a super long video for me to try and use every single paper and topper that we have here. So we're gonna create just some really simple cards. So within these kits, so for example, in the embellishment pad, um, we have these toppers here. So these are gonna make really quick and simple cards which are just going to be perfect. The other thing I was going to mention is if you do maybe sell your cards or you're looking to give them away as gifts and things this is something that I've learned um, just for myself over the last few months using up more kits and creating lots of cards is if you want to be able to sell them is making them in the same sizes and then having them in even pack sizes so four cards for example eight cards for example with then the envelope so um, I went ahead and purchased some four by four card blanks because I was making some smaller cards and sometimes I think that you can get more from like an 8x8 pad uh, if you're going to use smaller cards. We're going to do lots of different size cards as well, so all the classic sizes, but with an 8x8 paper pad you can literally just cut it into four and there you have um, you know, four by four inches are perfect for that size card. So that's what we're going to create today. And we're going to create some card packs that I'm going to put on my Etsy shop to sell. So I do have cards on there for sale. I've got lots more cards that I need to sit down and actually um, pop on there. But we're going to create those kind of really simple cards in today's video. So I've just taken all of the toppers from the Perfect Medley pack. So there's six sheets in here, um, and then you do have four toppers per sheet. Now, what I would say is just be careful when you are removing them from the pad because this top side is glued. Um, you wanna be careful not to kind of rip those uh, top ones. It is a little fuzzy there, so I'm gonna have to trim that down, but that's not a problem at all. And then I also took one of our sentiment sheets. Again, there's six sentiment sheets in just this pad alone. So it could be that in this video we actually only just use this medley pack here um but lots of these are sentiments so what i'm going to do is go ahead and just trim all of these out and then i'm going to trim all of our sentiments out as well so we've got everything ready to go Okay, so now we have all of our sentiments trimmed down and then we have our toppers. So look how many toppers we've got literally just from that one pad. Uh, and now I've cut these down. So what you've seen me do there was trim it, obviously to get our toppers, that was four by four. Uh, and then I actually trim this down now to three and seven eighths uh, because that is then just gonna give us a nice small border, just a really small border um, when we put this onto our card base. Again, it's just gonna be really, really simple. but what you could do as well, if you wanted to sort of layer this up, do a little bit of decoupage or something, then you could just trim these out uh, and then just put that on with foam tape onto um, the same image again. But we're going to create um, probably six sets of cards here. And then, so we're going to put all of these down. We're just going to glue them straight on. Uh, and then we're going to add a sentiment for each of them. So you can see this has given us a really tiny border here. Um, if we just actually open the card 
I, hopefully you can see that it's just going to be a really small border but you know it is um just going to fill that page up really really nicely so what you could do is trim it down again but i didn't really want to get rid of too much uh, of what we had going on around uh, the edges with this patterned paper it would be a shame to kind of get rid of that certainly for these these cards that we're creating here they're just going to be super simple and easy cards to do so we're going to get it started and get all of these cards assembled Okay, so there now we have 24 cards that were just so simple to make um, and just so adorable. Um, so we've got our rabbits, so we've actually got two rabbits. We've got our bear and we have our reindeer as well and then they do uh, just repeat. So at the moment we're going to do sort of sets of four like this. We might change it up and do it in bigger sets but now we just need to find a sentiment to pop on there. Uh, so... just thinking in terms of kind of colours here. Um, we will do the nice red there. And I think we're going to prop this up uh, on with some foam tape. Um, give you festive greetings. I might do a green one for that one. Because uh, I do want it to sort of stand out nicely. So we can do festive greetings there. And for our little bear here. Uh, we could do Christmas wishes. So I'm going to go through and we can add all of our sentiments on then. Again, we're going to use just some foam to prop these up a little bit, uh, just to add, just so it's not such a basic card. Um, there's nothing wrong with just having it all be completely one layer, but with a card like this, because it is quite simple, it's nice then just to be able to add just a little bit of dimension, just to give it a little bit more interest. So that is our finished cards. So again, we have 24 in total and we used just seven sheets of this um, paper pad here because they do have a certain amount of toppers in there as well. So these are four by four in inches in size, like I said, pre-made card bases. So super easy and I've got the envelopes to match them. Um, and they're just so stinking cute. I absolutely love them. Um, and you've just got that little bit of dimension there with that sentiment. Um, so each of the cards have all got a different sentiment on that'll be in the pack uh, and some of them I did just trim at an angle just to give it a little bit more interest and we've added then I'm not sure if the camera will really pick it up but we've added some of that um, glitter onto there as well and these are just going to make super easy fun cards uh, again whether you're going to be gifting them to someone using them yourselves or actually selling them they're going to be absolutely perfect for that. You can as well, because we still do have sentiments left over. So you could add something to the inside. It might be that I find a little stamp to stamp just on the inside here.
rather than maybe using these because the ones that we've got left over these ones wouldn't be too bad um really because they can just go in like that but i think it'd be nicer with a little stamped sentiment in there so i might see what i can find uh for that but yeah that is gonna be the cards for um this video so 24 absolutely stunning cards i love them i think they are just so adorable and yeah easy super easy to make so that's going to be it for this video there's going to be more videos more christmas videos we've got our 25 days of christmas coming up starting the 1st of december and then of course we've got this paper pad and we've got so much of this left you know we haven't even touched the other two pads yet uh so there's just going to be tons more inspiration with these if you are interested in this paper pad then i'll leave a link in the description box down below to the website i purchased it from uh, and that is the creative craft in a world website who actually manufacture um these lovely kits and at the time of filming this um it was reduced as well to 17 pounds something um just under 18 pounds so do go and check that out if you're interested in this pad or any of the other um products or kits that um this company do make hit that thumbs up button to help support my channel it helps to sort of push out my content um a little bit further which does mean then that i'm able to bring all these tutorials and these videos for you and if you haven't subscribed to my channel hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos and on screen now you'll see another video that i think you're gonna be very interested in watching so what are you waiting for click on that video and i'll see you in the next one